Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today I've got um, a custom video for you guys. Uh, it was requested by uh, some fans, and yeah, I'm going to be going over how to place bridges, and I'm also going to do uh, piers or docks as well because they're very similar. So yeah, so generally when you're placing um, a bridge or something, you want it to be flat. Now you can do it at an angle, but it just makes it a little trickier. But I'm going to show you the different types of bridges. So there's bridge one. It looks like that. Bridge two, which looks like that. So very similar. And bridge three. And that's actually one of the coolest ones. It's maybe more of like a railroad type bridge. So yeah, those are the three types of bridges. And the nice thing about these two is that you can match them up with the road and you can, you know, connect them pretty well with the road. And yeah, so we're just going to delete those and we'll start making a bridge. So first of all, we just have to choose which one we want. So I'm going to choose bridge line number two. Okay, so we got bridge line number two, and we want to sit, switch it to rotation, and we got a snap rotation of 15, so we can line it up nicely. And guys, the thing about this land here is that they're both even on each side, so it, it'll save us a lot of time if we're wanting to uh, connect them with the bridge. So what you want to do is, over here you want it to be slightly, you know, this is the wrong piece. Really, okay, what you want to do is you want to have a bridge line cap. The only difference with this bridge line cap is that one end of the bridge line cap has this nice uh, slanted edge right here that leads up to the bridge. And that makes it really useful for starting your bridge. And also, these areas right here are solid. And the other ones, they're see through, and that just isn't as great. So, what you want to do is you want to have this location thing on the coordinate thing on local not global because if it's on local it'll actually uh, follow the uh, direction of the object you're placing and you do want to have some sort of snap rotation I'm thinking five might be the best for this it really just depends on how long these bridges are so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this using control C and control V and then I'm going to use the snap rotate the snap movement and move it over. Now I think this needs to be I think the snap rotation I'm just going to delete this and I'll do it again. I think the snap rotation needs to be something more like 2 maybe. Yeah, there we go. So now we got a good, uh, it abuts very nicely, there's no cracks, it's very smooth. And guys, yeah, as you see, there's a problem down here. The ends don't quite reach the ground, but I'll give you one way to fix that. The other way to fix that is you can just raise the ground up or move the bridge down, I mean either one. So now we're just going to copy and paste that again and do the exact same thing. And now we're getting to the other side. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to switch that all the way around so that this nice curved ramp part is now on the other side. And as you can see, you know, this isn't maybe the best for for this bridge. This side is coming off just a little bit. So what we can do is we can uh, rotate it. All we have to do is select them all and we can just rotate them all together and they'll still be together very nicely no edges nothing like that and yeah this is a pretty good bridge as you see it's pretty smooth getting onto it there's no bumps there's no cracks in between you can tell when they stop and end but you're not going to be able to avoid that okay so now for this underside and now the first option i mentioned is you could just raise the ground up that is one definitely viable option Another way that I thought of that you could potentially do this is copy and paste one of them. Uh, shoot. 
you need to use the snap rotation and flip it all the way upside down. Then you you could use snap rotation for this. You move it straight down till they connect all the way at the bottom. And this isn't perfect still. I mean, you still need to have some ground coming up. But this is going to be much better for uh, making the bridge as tall as possible. And I'll just do this with the rest of them. Dang it, that's not right. It's not rotated all the way. There we go. Get it all the way down. And one more. Copy paste. Flip it a whole 180 degrees and move it down. Dang it. I let go of the snap snap control. Dang it, one more bit. Come on. There we go. So now that they're all down there, you know, the, the, it still doesn't reach quite far enough. So what we can do is we can just get to the terrain and get to the heights. And we could raise it up just a little bit till. Dang it, that's too much, obviously. Dang it, and that's the other problem. It's starting to mess with uh, these up here. What we can do is, like, I flattened it originally, so you can just flatten it again and fix that. And yeah, now it doesn't look too bad. We've got really big bridge, you know, you can see a little bit of it right there, but if you're a player running around this world, you're not really going to notice that. I mean, you'll see it, but it'll just look like part of the foundation for the bridge. So that's one great way of making a bridge. Now, the other ways of making a bridge. I'm just going to remove this height here. I'm going to get that away, because we don't really need that for this next thing. So now we're going to do the bridge turning. And we can't do this with bridge number one because there is no turning segment for bridge number one. But there is a turning segment for bridge number two. So we're going to start putting in these bridge line number two. We're going to start with a cap. Gonna rotate it. Oh, and this one's actually tilting down. That's pretty nice. Yes, okay, so this one's meant more for um, highways, where the bridge is turning and going up and down and stuff like that. So, I mean, we can still use this, but I'm actually just going to use bridge line number two. I'm not going to use the cap for that because it, it slants. We don't really need to deal with that. So, I'm going to, you know, roughly arrange this. Now, since we're not using the cap, we're going to have to arrange it more precisely. And, yeah. So, it's not going to look as nice, but we can deal with it. And, guys, see these places right there? What we could do is we could put some sandbags or something to cover those up because the player's going to see right through there. Okay, so we got this uh, set up roughly. So, we got bridge turn number two. So now we got this turning segment. Now obviously we gotta set the rotation so it's gonna connect correctly with the rotation. And now comes the hard part, guys, because you really can't use snap rotation for this. You just sort of gotta line it up by hand. And so I would roughly line it up in the middle with these middle lines. And then I would focus on moving it back far enough there and then that's pretty good guys you're not really gonna get this perfect you just gotta get it good enough and as you can see you know that's not perfect but that looks pretty dang good okay so you're just gonna have to work on it a little bit at a time it's gonna be kinda touchy so now we got one of these and we can just copy paste it and move it over the nice thing about copying and pasting it is it'll keep it at the same height 
it'll keep it at the same up and down so we won't have to mess with that again so yeah move it over rotate it and that one went pretty close it's not perfect so we'll move that over just a little bit that might be the best I can get it see it's not perfect but you know that's pretty good from far away you really can't tell and if you're walking on this road unless you're like really studying these edges here you're not gonna see that there's any problem running along this it's, it's gonna look fine so yeah there's, there's the curve and pretty much we can just finish this off by copying pasting and dragging this over till it gets embedded in the ground and yeah there's your road and then with this guys you can use the same technique of making it lower by copy pasting and flipping them upside down um, I'm not gonna go through that again you guys know how to do that but what I will do is I will make the ground go up just a little bit okay so as so I use you want to use the flatten tool if you want to make them nice and flat and I'm at point two, and that looks like it's going to be the best for right here. I might have to move it up just a little bit. Well, this looks like it'll be pretty good. All right. And I think that'll... No, see, that won't quite do it. There's a little bit of a gap. So, point two, two. That'll definitely do it. Yeah, that'll definitely do it guys you can always overlap it a little more than it needs to be because you know nobody's gonna care that there's a little bit underground and so yeah that's that looks like a pretty successful bridge now guys you can use this however you want but you know I'm just showing you the basics just be creative with these I mean you can do whatever you can flip them upside down um, I know there's broken bridge segments that you can fit in they look pretty cool so like if this segment, you know, you wanted it to be broken, you could put this broken bridge seg segment in there. You know, give your bridge a little more life, a little more randomness. And of course you're going to have to fit it up nicely again, guys. But I got to move on to these uh, docks here, because they're similar. They use about the same principles, though. And there's two types of docks. There's this dock right here, small classic dock, and then there's this huge dock. Now this huge dock, you know, you guys can do whatever you want with this. You really don't need to be, I mean, it's just a freaking huge dock. But I really wanted to teach you guys how to use these. So you get a dock out here, rotate it so that, you know, it's going to be facing into the water how you want it to. All you really have to do is embed one of those sides inside of the ground. And for this one, you probably want to use a snap rotation of one, just because it's a smaller object. So now what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste, use the snap movement. And guys, the way you use the snap movement is you just hold down control when you're moving it. And it'll move it in increments of one meter. And yeah, you pretty much just build a bridge. Or a, not a bridge, a pier. And what you can do is you can select them all if you want to move them all. And you can just, you know, do whatever you want to them. I moved them down a little bit because they weren't quite reaching into the water. To make them to make turning segments with these, obviously they're not going to be smooth, but it uses about the same principles. You copy paste it, move it to the side, move it up, and then rotate it. As you can see, this is not perfect, but you know you can touch it up. You can do whatever you want. If I wanted it right in between, I'd actually have to move this snap rotation to 0 0.5, and that'll be the best. Yeah. So now it's right in the middle. I can move it so it's just abutting it. And, you know, that's a pretty good dock. You guys can make these things as large as you want. You can do pretty much whatever you want with these. So that pretty much concludes this video tutorial. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like it if you enjoyed it and if you learned something. Um, please stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. We're enjoying the new support. And, yeah, it's great to have all these new subscribers and stuff. So... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all later.